Hi everyone. In this episode, I want to talk about how the narcissist uses triangulation to condition you to associate them being with their friends and family with fears of abandonment. I also want to talk about how the narcissist uses triangulation to condition their friends and their family to associate you with controlling and unstable behavior. Narcissists use triangulation to create division amongst people in their lives. This is how they keep everyone under control and basically compartmentalize people to stay in their certain roles that the narcissist has for them. And if you have ever been close to a narcissist or in an intimate relationship with them, you understand how they are very good at keeping their abuse private so that no one will believe you if you ever try to speak up. The narcissist portrays themselves one way in front of the public eye, but behind closed doors, they are the complete opposite. It is absolutely terrifying when the day you realize that the person you thought you knew is absolutely not the person you thought you knew. Narcissists use triangulation to create competition between their intimate partners and the other people in their life. And they do this so that they can keep their victims isolated and then they can run a successful smear campaign because their friends and family are only seeing their victim's reaction to their abuse. So a narcissist will plant seeds in people's heads, everyone, and give everyone a different perception of who you are as their intimate partner or who you are as their victim. The narcissist will also use triangulation throughout the relationship to plant seeds of jealousy or fear or doubt in your head. And this is how they keep you working harder for them. But the main thing I really want to focus on in this episode is how the narcissist uses triangulation to get you to associate their friends and family with fears of abandonment and how they condition their friends or their family members to view you, to have a perception of you as controlling, unstable, you know, just everything that the narcissist is actually doing to you, how they are able to get people to turn against each other using triangulation. And it's actually, it's really simple, except that you don't know what's going on and other people don't know what's going on. So the narcissist, when they begin devaluing you, they will, I talked about this in another episode, they will do something, they will start small, like make plans with you and say, I'm going to go out with my friends, but I'll be at your place to hang out with you by eight o'clock and we can spend the rest of the evening together. And you're like, okay, narcissist, that sounds great. You know, go have fun with your friends. So the narcissist goes out with their friends and the first time, you know, they don't show up to maybe nine o'clock and you're like, oh, okay, well, I guess it's just an hour. And this is how they also slowly cross your boundaries and break your boundaries down because these are little tests that the narcissist is giving you. The narcissist is always testing you and this is how they groom you to accept their abuse. So maybe the first time the narcissist says, I'm going out with my friends, I'll be at your place by eight. They don't show up till nine. Okay. So you're like, oh, well, you know, stuff happens. No big deal. But after this happens three, four, five times, you know, you do, you get, it's very disrespectful and the narcissist knows it's disrespectful, but they're testing you. They need to get a reaction out of you and they know the more and more they do this to you. Eventually you're going to say something. Eventually you're going to react to this level of disrespect and manipulation that you eventually put together. Hey, they're doing this on purpose. Why do they always make plans with me and then show up late or they don't show up at all? Now in your head, you think every time the narcissist makes plans with me, they leave me and don't show up because they're friends. Why are their friends such a bad influence? Why is it that every time the narcissist is with this certain friend or this group of people, they just start disrespecting you and abandoning you and it is a way to create anxiety in you but they're doing it on purpose you see on the other side the narcissist is telling their friends or family members that they don't have any plans or that you know you were busy so you couldn't hang out or the narcissist tells their friends that you were okay with them going out with their friends Meanwhile, after so many times of a narcissist intentionally abandoning you to create this fear of abandonment, and then in your head you associate it with 
whoever the friends or the group of people or the family member, whoever the person is, you associate fears of abandonment every time the narcissist, you know, engages with this certain person or this certain group of people. And after a while, like this is this is a form of reactive abuse that you begin to engage in after repeated manipulation like this. So as the narcissist continues these behaviors, slowly testing you and grooming you, after so many times, you start to react and you react more and more and more to this behavior. And on the other side, the narcissist friends and family are only seeing your reaction because remember, the narcissist has made you believe they were going to be with you at a certain time and over there, you're thinking, oh, now that they're with their friends again, they never show up. And the friends on the other side are thinking that you're totally cool, but instead, you start calling and calling and texting and texting because you don't understand why the narcissist, every time they say they're going to show up and be someplace for you, they they don't. They just don't show up and they do it intentionally. And after a while, you realize they are doing it intentionally. But you think, oh, their friends are convincing them to, you know, basically treat you this way. And also the narcissist tells you these things. The narcissist says, you know, my friends don't like the way you treat me. My friends don't like the way you act. My friends think that you're controlling. My friends think you're crazy. My friends think you're unstable. And they use all this gaslighting. So now you're sitting there thinking that their friends feel this way about you and you haven't even done anything. You're like, why do your friends think this about me? Well, it's because the narcissist has told their friends that you are controlling and unstable because when they don't show up and they repeatedly do this to you, you start calling, you start texting and all the friends are seeing is your reaction to their manipulations and their abuse. So now their friends view you as controlling and unstable because oh my gosh every time they try to hang out with the narcissist you're acting out of control you're acting crazy and they don't understand why you can't just let the narcissist have a good time with their friends and the narcissist will say this to him the narcissist will say oh my god every time i try to hang out with you guys you know my person my boyfriend or my girlfriend just this is how they act they're always trying to control me and little do the people know that the narcissist was orchestrating all of this, orchestrating all of this to associate your brain with fear of abandonment every time they're with their certain friends or a certain person or group of people and they're conditioning their friends or family members to associate you with unstable, you know, controlling behavior. With this level of triangulation, this is also how the narcissist is able to execute such successful smear campaigns. Because, well, it's easy to get their friends on the bandwagon when all the friends have ever seen is your reaction to constant psychological manipulation and abuse. All of this triangulation from beginning to end is meant to groom you, is meant to set the stage for you to be able to accept the bare minimum during their abusive cycles. And in the end, when the narcissist is getting ready to discard you and replace you with someone else, they will use triangulation yet again to triangulate you with a new source of supply. They will do everything they can to devalue you and make you feel like you are in competition with someone else. The narcissist will also do this while they're grooming the new supply. They will tell the new supply how awful you are how terrible you've been, the narcissist will tell the new supply everything that they were actually doing to you. The more the narcissist uses triangulation, the more they use triangulation to devalue you, the more potent your fuel because you keep reacting to this level of disrespect and psychological manipulation. You just keep giving them narcissistic supply because you're emotionally reacting to a level of psychological abuse, control, and manipulation that your brain absolutely cannot, you cannot think straight. You know, in all honesty, the narcissist has to use triangulation. Number one, they have to use it because they need to groom you to accept the bare minimum during their cycles of abuse. Number two, they need everyone to have a different perception of you than who you really are. That way no one believes you if you try to speak up about their abuse. 
That way, a narcissist can create a successful smear campaign and maintain victim status throughout your relationship. That way, a narcissist can groom new supply, hook new supply, because, oh my God, you've just been so awful. And the narcissist needs triangulation to keep everyone in separation, to keep a level of division so that everyone is kind of against each other and against their victim for the very reason that narcissists fear exposure more than anything else. And the narcissist absolutely needs the people that are in their lives, their friends and family, to see you as the problem because ultimately the narcissist knows who they are and once their mask slips and they know that you see them for who they truly are, you know, they have to get rid of you. They have to replace you. You know, because once you see a narcissist for who they really are and they know that you know who they really are, they can't undo it and you can't unsee it and unknow it. So the narcissist has to get rid of you. The narcissist has to triangulate you with people. So in the end, when everything fails and you figure them out and they need to replace you, everyone has only been witness to your reaction to their abuse. So all the friends and family easily reinforce the narcissist delusion reinforce the narcissist abuse towards you because the narcissist says, hey, nobody else likes you, so you must be the problem. I have to get rid of you. And this is how triangulation works, and this is how the narcissist uses it and why they use it from beginning to end because ultimately the narcissist knows eventually the mask is going to slip and you are going to see them for who they really are. And at that moment, you become a liability. At that moment, you are no longer worth having around for the fact that you are a liability and your supply, your supply isn't as potent as it used to be. The narcissist needs their partner, needs their partner to play a specific role in their life. And once you see them for who they really are, you can't unsee it. So you will never look at the narcissist the same way. And the only way they can get fuel from you is by increasing their abuse and their manipulations. And once you've reached that point and you start pushing back and refuse to internalize their abuse, refuse to react, refuse to put up with any of it anymore, the narcissist has to replace you because they always have to be devaluing someone in order to regulate themselves and the cycle is on repeat forever and ever with the narcissist. They will repeat this cycle over and over and over. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you again for listening. I do appreciate the support. Stay safe, stay strong, and keep getting the knowledge. You are all going to be amazing.